Good morning. Hey Bessie, how's everyone doing? Welcome or welcome back. Hope you're having a lovely, bright, positive morning today because clearly I'm not because the sun decided to play today. The London sun is literally non-existent and today it's just deciding to be very antisocial so I'm sorry if the lighting is very funky today but anyway, we're just going to be positive and bright ourselves to be enough for the both of us, okay? Woke up this morning, got my daily movement in as you saw. I'm back on my Sammy Clark workouts love her i feel like i try everyone and then always go back to her workouts i just love them also made myself some brekkie how good does my granola look i have to make some more granola myself this is just the prep one because i haven't had time to make some yet i will probably be going for a grocery shop tomorrow so hopefully i can get some more jumbo oats etc which is also why i didn't go for my egg white oats and then again i do love some granola as well so i'm not gonna complain also i want my morning greens cheers i've been loving the bloom greens powder that I brought over from our trip to New York if you don't know which was amazing also bought myself a ton of Trader Joe's everything but the bagel and some bloom greens that's what I'm having also have my coffee which I'm gonna have after my greens but yeah today I thought we could do a little bit of a 2023 planning vision boarding video i don't actually have uni today so i have a day off so i thought it'd be the perfect time for me to get my 2023 planning and goal writing in plus i thought it would be fun together because we love a new year we love it it's funny because it's literally like you wake up one day and everything feels so different so fresh so new because it's a new year but technically it's still just the next day so i thought today we could like i said do some vision boarding i didn't actually show you guys my 2022 vision board so i thought this year we could do it together so yeah gonna write up and plan some goals for this year maybe think about what went well in 2022 what we achieved any of the goals that we ticked off or any that we didn't so that we can revise them and maybe set them as new goals for the new year and then maybe even write up a little letter for ourselves in the future it's like writing in the perspective of your future self so more than a letter to your future self it's writing as your future self We'll see, we'll see when we get there. But time for my breakfast, because I'm hungry. P.S. I swear, I'm not wearing this knit every single day. It's just a coincidence that I have it on again. But who cares? We love an outfit repeater. Okay, so I've just come up to my room, and I don't know about you, but nothing screams reset to me more than a fresh set of nails. Like, I just, I just love having my nails done. It makes me feel like I'm put together. It makes me feel like I'm on my air game. So that's what we're gonna do. Plus, come on, Bestie, these bad boys need some kind of makeover. Ta-da! my little kit how cute is this if you don't know i love doing my nails at home myself it just feels like a cute little self-care moment i get to relax get to take a break however manicurists make it so hard to choose what shade to go for because these all look so pretty also i want to quickly thank manicurists for sponsoring this portion of the video it feels so good to be able to work with brands that you truly love now if you don't know the green flash nail polishes by manicurists are actually the world's first plant based gel manicure kit which i think is pretty incredible plus the full kit pro literally has everything that you need to do your nails at home everything is labeled to make it super easy one for the base two for your color and three for the top coat pretty self-explanatory and the led light that it comes with means that your nails dry basically instantly okay you don't have to wait around for it to dry and then get little lines and marks everywhere i literally hate that and if like me you want to switch up the color every now and then or you just need to take off your nail polish the kit literally comes with an acetone free nail polish remover as well as those cute little clips that you can just clip on and leave and feel all bougie and professional whilst removing your nail polish at home
literally new year new me who would have thought i would have gone for black nails i haven't done black nails in so long so i thought i'd switch it up i'll have all the details for my manicurist and the full kit pro that you can get down in the description box below because it literally took me like 20 minutes and why wouldn't you want to use something that's plant-based and has no nasty bits and bobs and it's just easy to do it at home i i love them i love them so much they actually look so cute <laughs> Quick outfit change, I know, lit myself a lovely candle and I got the vibes ready for some vision boarding. Okay, I'm sorry, but you can't do any sort of goal setting or planning or vision boarding without doing a good old brain dump first. I love doing this. It literally makes me feel so much better because I feel like I think about so much on a day-to-day -day basis. I take so much with me throughout the year, just carrying it in my head. So it's nice to get everything out onto some paper, do a good old brain dump, and then that way I know where to move on from there. It also helps to direct my goal planning and setting as well. And like I said, I just, I just feel good. I feel fresh, I feel good. You can do bullet points, you can do a mind map, you can do a journal entry, you can do whatever you want. You can draw, you can doodle. Just make sure that you're doing something to just get everything in here out onto some paper. And yeah. Okay, so I'm clearly not going to read every single part because it's personal. I feel like keeping this kind of stuff to yourself just makes it more magical. And, and I don't know, I just feel like that way there's more energy between me and the task of actually doing this. But basically what I did was I wrote down what I learned this year. For example, I wrote down that I get overwhelmed very easily and I overthink things which leads to me being very overwhelmed. And then my last key point that I added was to prioritize my downtime for 2023. Although you might not believe it, sometimes what I end up doing is I procrastinate about getting the task done and then I end up up spending a couple hours procrastinating where I could have at least spent two hours doing nothing and truly resting and just taking a break and feeling good about it I hope to work on that this year so yeah that was what I'd done on this page aka my first page and then on my next page I ended up describing my higher true self and the key is to write as if you are already that person so I broke it down into education career personal slash health and then also family and then lastly i just ended up by writing a cute little letter to myself i talked about how 2023 was an amazing year i talked about all the things i accomplished and i literally cannot wait to read that at the end of the year time for the fun part time for our vision board i always do it in the same way but if you're like a gem there is such an easier way let me know down below but this is how i do it i always end up creating a board on pinterest and i add all my favorite pins and inspo pics and goals to that board and then I end up downloading those and then using an app or something like Canva to create a nice board like a collage with words and photos and inspired pics. I'm sorry, but I think I've done an amazing job. I'm literally obsessed. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm going to quickly run through the different areas of my vision board. I'm also going to record it on my computer so you can see at the same time because, you know, I like to gesture, I like to point at stuff. First off, in like the top left hand corner, we've got my education section. We've got a whole load of study inspo, some revision stuff going on. And then also got a little bit of medicine popping in here and there because if you don't know, I'm actually a medical student, second year. But hopefully next year obviously will be third year. So that's when placement starts, which is something I'm really looking forward to. Got a little bit more books going on over here. Clearly we're gonna be on our grind, no missing lectures, no being behind on work, we're gonna be on it. Then towards the top right hand side, we've got a few cheeky, more long-term kind of inspo pics at the top there. As you can see, got a little bit of an apartment thing going on some coffee my one true love we already know this i don't plan on moving out this year but i still have that intention and i carry it around with me and it's probably one of my biggest goals to have like a cute aesthetic apartment of my own that is literally my dream my dream so i had to include it in there when we move down we've got more health and wellness and personal aspect of my vision board we already know your girl is a foodie we love our salad bowls we love cooking at home. I also had to include this as well because I love grocery shopping, of course. And even though it's not something new, I just want to focus on continuing this habit that I have throughout the year, of course, and just trying to do it to the best of my ability. And then moving on to the last little section, we've got our more creative side of the vision board because your girl loves to, you know, do this. Some camera and YouTube inspo and then something a little cheeky down there mm, for 2023. We're gonna have to see. Let me know if you get what I'm hinting. <laughs> but yeah, that is our 2023 vision board done. I love it. I was also thinking about printing some of these out and then I don't know if you can see I've got like a really nice little spare bit of wall over there in the corner and I was wondering if I should print out some of these photos and do like a physical vision board up there so I can see it every single day as well. Plus for some reason I found some washi tape in my drawer so that's probably a really fun little activity I'll do sometime this week. Anyways I hope you guys have enjoyed spending today with me and getting our little zen on our little vibes for the year set straight also don't forget to check out money curious once again i'll have all of the details down below in the description because come on come on and with that being said i thank you guys for watching make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and i'll see you guys soon with a new video bye